Grant Page will do the stunt next week. Uh, you're about to meet this man, Jerry Goldsmith. Uh, he hasn't really done much over the years. He's only composed the musical scores for movies like A Patch of Blue, The Blue Max, The Sand Pebbles, Planet of the Apes, Patton, Chinatown, The Omen, Alien, Poltergeist, The Twilight Zone, Psycho 2, and dozens more, if that isn't enough. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what more anybody could do. He's dominated great television and motion picture musical scores for over 20 years, and I'd like you to make a welcome. Mr. Here he is, Mr. Jerry Goldsmith. Say hello. Hello. You haven't been the best. You, you, you got yourself a little food poisoning or something. Yeah, didn't? sorry. I missed the rehearsal, but uh, a little food poisoning in Sydney. Uh, yeah. Do you want to know where? No, 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 no. Don't say anything. No, no, no. Do you want to know where? Yeah. The American Club. <laughs> you went to the American Club and got food poisoning? Yeah. Oh. You're lucky that's all. <laughs> Wait, tell me about the movie. Now, have you ever kept track of how many movie scores you've actually done? Mm -hmm. How many? About 125. And, and that would be over a period of what time are we talking about? 25 years. Jeepers, that's like, what is that, four a year, five a year or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. That doesn't count television. Oh, wow. See, this is sort of thrilling for me to be here on live television. That's where I started, live television. Yeah, they don't do live television in America anymore. I remember the, um, at, on the Emmy Awards, I looked at it, and, uh, and Pat Weaver, a very famous um, executive in NBC and so forth, talked about they must get back to live television in America to make it happen but uh, there's no, nobody young enough there's nobody willing to to work cheap enough yeah. and nobody's stupid enough to go out and do live television again well wait a minute you i don't mean i'm not taking you wrong well no no i'm not taking anything wrong i mean, I mean you know, no, some, no, it, we, some we were people doing, might grab anything that we were doing live dramatic <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I, sorry about that i didn't mean that. no no, yeah. we, <laughs> sorry. no we did the uh you know we were doing live dramatic television yeah. and, like the very first show did like yeah. a corpse walked up in front of the camera stage yeah. manager was get the hell out of there you know right in front of the camera he walks off yeah there's an actor named tris coffin yeah. <laughs> well anyways that's, that's your truth. i remember they, i heard a story of like they used to do a show they used to do shows in america live drama that's with right. live music playhouse 90 yeah. things like that and i remember burt reynolds told a story one time about how he was supposed to be a corpse laying there and he had one line to do and the guy didn't give him his line so he sat his head up he's supposed to be dead and he said do my line do my line <laughs> that was wild I, I did those playhouse 90 shows and it was really terrific you know you're sitting there with an orchestra in another studio and, and it's all timed out to fit the action all of a sudden the actor blows his lines and you're three pages forward right yeah and where are we how do, you, how do you do it for a motion picture i've often wondered about that uh, do you do your musical score um and then like look at the film and see if it just fits for the mood or do you have to write the music specifically for support scene by scene as you look at it it's scene well they finish the picture the picture is entirely done and edited because we write music to a tenth of a second and once it's finished then i do it scene by scene hmm. and do you have to you know obviously you don't do all this stuff but you have a staff of people that work with you to do all of that or? just you just me wow and, and what do you do do you try to look for I often wondered about this. Is it special? Do you look for a sound or a sound of music that fits the mood of what it is, or something that you want to be want to have be memorable for people? I think you. Well, first of all, you're dealing with the dramatics. You want to enhance the emotional element of the film of the. Crossbow fights. <laughs> 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 